we as a fire department don't want a six million dollar fire department. We want a, a functioning fire department. The volunteer Pendleton Fire Department says they're in, need, in desperate need actually of a new firehouse. They tell us the 100 year old building is basically falling apart. Uh, tomorrow night, Pendleton Town Council members are finalizing their budget and right now there is not a plan for a new building. The firefighters are trying to get the word out about this. And Fox County's Margaret Ann Carter takes us inside the fire station, looks into how the city plans to address the problem for those helping keep us safe. Council members will be deciding on a five, seven point five or ten million dollar TIF district, which stands for tax increment financing. It's money taken from taxes and used to encourage investment in the district. The mayor says that council is leaning towards a five million dollar TIF, but that doesn't address the fire station. So in an effort to shed some light on how bad the conditions are, Captain Tommy Brock took only our cameras inside. You would think with the growth that we got going on here that that we would have a nicer building for a fire department. Built as an ice house in the early 1900s. After that, uh, the town hall moved in here. It was public works. <laughs> Captain Tommy Rock walks us through the history of the place he calls home. This is where we have our pool table. Right now we got it covered up because Every time it rains, it rains on it, so we're, we're keeping it covered. In 1962, becoming home to the Pendleton Volunteer Fire Department. They built on for the fire department to accommodate the, the trucks here. Um, it kept getting built on to is why there's so many different elevations in here. Up these stairs, this goes to the older part of the building. Four years ago, the city of Pendleton signed the building over to the fire department. I said, but y'all didn't really donate anything to us. You dumped it on us because y'all didn't have the money to fix it neither. Do you have a timeline on the roofing? Got bids in and um, picked the contractor. 65% of the department's calls are within the city of Pendleton. <laughs> But because they're a volunteer fire department, the city doesn't have to fund them. And the budget meeting's coming up, and you notice there's nothing budgeted for the fire department. Mm -hmm. And what was the response to that? Um, said we're budgeted $1,000 a year. What does $1,000 get you guys? Nothing, really. Um, a set of turnout gear that we have to buy for our members is $3,800. That's a pair of boots, a pair of pants, jacket gloves, helmet, and flash hood, $3,800. On top of that, last year, the county gave the department several thousand dollars. And over the years, they've held fundraisers, even going door to door. We pinched pennies to make sure that we got enough money to, to last the year. And um, we get about ten to $15,000 in, in donations a year. And the, the main reason I think that that's so low is because everybody thinks that we're a paid department paid for by the town of Pendleton. But they're not. Right now, the department is having to pay out of their own budget to replace the roof. Some of them think that, well, it's really not our problem. It's the county's problem. But um, really, it is the city's problem because if we're not here, who's going to protect the city? Then once we get the new roof on, we'll put some more tiles in here. And, uh, you know, it's just right now, I hate to say it this way, it's like putting lipstick on a pig. So when people come by here and they say, well, there's the town fire department, yeah. is it a little bit embarrassing? It, yeah, a little bit embarrassing. Mayor Frank Crenshaw has sat on council since 1999. Everything we have in our budget is, is are things that are needed, but um, some of the things we could probably do without for a little while to help fund this TIF additionally would be my point. He's also a volunteer firefighter. Do you feel like a new volunteer fire department is a priority to council? It is, I think it's a priority to council. I, and I applaud council for for funding this TIF district because through the, the TIF district, uh, and, and TIF stands for tax increment financing, um, that's how it would be funded. But outside of that. They get a little donation every year, um, but nothing of any uh, substance much other than that. I mean, there's nothing really big. That's why Mayor Crenshaw says he would like to see council fund the $7.5 million TIF. Because we need a fire department sooner than later. I just think that Pendleton's probably one of the best communities in Anderson County. It's a disservice to our community to, to have a, a station like we have.
And the budget will be finalized during tomorrow night's meeting. Of course, stay with us. We'll keep you posted right here on Fox Carolina.